What are you saying? I'm saying that, Tim. This is fun. He is a pretty pretty patient. Really no, I'll, I'll just do it. I'll do it in the three shot, okay? Your job is to find out what he's like in the kitchen. Well, you know, well, maybe we should start with the kids. You know, I promise you guys a Barbie. And here it is. And this? This is it. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to go into the pool. Ready? You know, no. Have you got more cheers than you? Yeah. Have you got any motivation? Want a big cheer, guys? Come after on, really excited. Get there. Stop chewing gums, Cynthia. Ready to go? A boy. Someone going to clap? Go just to clap, mate. There you go. Big one, two. I'm going to go with you. Stand by. Everyone happy? And. Problem. I'm rolling in. Okay, now, kids, I promise you a barbecue. Is this alright? Come on, for a Yeah. Alright Tim, now this is Martin, here's our vision in the kitchen. A great pleasure mate, a great pleasure. And we know he's pretty handy with the football head, but I've your heard, yes. job today is to find out how handy he is on a barbecue. Well I reckon if you've got the skills to kick a ball around the park the way you do, this is going to be no fuss at all. <laughs> but I was really impressed actually because I, I heard your mum's Samoan, you spent some time there, is that right? Yeah, so I spent a bit of time there as a kid and uh, you know, learned the family origins and culture, but this is uh, a great way to show you how I can do a bit of cooking. Yeah, because I've got a great Samoan dish. Now, you've got to excuse me if my pronunciation's not <laughs> flat, but it's my tuna pole. Yeah. Char grilled chicken? Yeah, that's the one. There Char grilled chicken. Char grilled chicken, Samoan style. And the great thing about it, it gets all the great flavours of the South Pacific. You've got coconuts and limes and lemongrass and a really special little ingredient, which is the leaves of the lime. So there you go. Fantastic. But Hey, I've cooked this a million times. It's time to see what he can do. What yeah, do you reckon? I'm, I'm happy not to cook. It's all up to you. Right, <laughs> oh, Tim, over this way, buddy. It's really straightforward. All we've got to do is we've got to make a taste. Because the great thing about South Pacific cookery, as you know, is it's a lot of these simple concepts. We're going to simply cook the chicken and then bake it off with the flavours and the taste. Cool? Fantastic. Step number one. Can you drizzle just a little bit of oil over the chicken? Now, one of the great professional tricks I like to use on barbecue chicken is to leave it on the bone. You see, leaving meat on the bone actually means that it comes more moist. And when you're in a dry environment like a barbecue, that's really important. So, a little bit of salt. Not too much. There we go. Now, always put your meat skin down on the barbecue. So off you go. He washed his hands up. I saw it. Oh, <laughs> so Here we go. Oh! Done like a master. Cool. <laughs> right here, next up. <laughs> next up, we're going to start on this paste. Now, it couldn't be easier. This, believe it or not, is a clove of garlic. Looks big enough for you?